the only thing I was thinking of is, uh, you know, my family and, you know, that, that just caused me to fight to stay alive. We spoke to Warren Gaines yesterday and his wife, Martha. He was, Warren was discharged from Cahuilla Delta's Rehabilitation Hospital in Visalia earlier this month. He was hospitalized for 37 days, not only battling COVID, but also suffering a stroke while in care. But the road to recovery isn't always easy. And we now bring in Warren's physical therapist, Danny Pavlovich, to give us some perspective into a COVID patient's recovery and, in particular, the recovery from a stroke. And, Danny, thank you for joining us. In a case like Warren's, how does having COVID play into the development of a stroke? There, there really was, appeared to be a connection in his case. What can you tell us about that? So, um, so what they're finding is COVID-19 can cause increased clotting in the body um, and blood clots, and that can also cause a stroke. So if in your blood vessels of your brain, if there's clotting in the brain, um, it, it can cause an ischemic stroke where you lose blood flow to that part of your brain. And I, I think there, they have been trying to make the connections with research that um, the clotting that takes place when someone as COVID-19 could possibly lead to a stroke. And it appeared to, or at least that's what Warren has been told, mm -hmm. that's what happened to him in yes. that particular case. Now, he was hospitalized for COVID. He recovered from, tested negative for the virus when he came to you for treatment for the stroke. Is that correct? Correct, at, at our rehab facility. I'm sorry, I don't mean to correct you. I'm, I'm an occupational therapist. Um, but So I work with him in occupational therapy. He saw speech therapy and physical therapy as well. Um, occupational therapy, we're just looking at those activities that occupy people's time, working on getting them back to daily activities um, with increased focus on those everyday activities such as bathing and dressing. Um, also after a stroke, sometimes people lose a lot of motor control in the arm um, and the occupational therapist will work on that. So we were working on a lot of those things with, with him. Um, and Warren, when had, he came to, Warren yes. had explained that he was a very active person prior to all of this happening to mm -hmm. him. Um, did uh, In cases of patients who have had COVID, if, if you can address this possibly, are they weakened? In addition to having a stroke, was he weakened or did he face any other challenges as he tried to recover from the stroke? So from my understanding, COVID-19 does, does tax a lot on your respiratory system. So even recovering from that, from, from the time he had had before he came to work with me at the rehab facility, um, there is a lot of differences in the respiratory system. I would say it's hard to, to tease out what the differences are that were related to, to the, him also um, having had COVID-19 and from a stroke, but um, he, he did have a lot of decreased activity tolerance, just meaning not a lot of energy to, to expend. Um, his blood pressure was, was very low whenever he would get up at, at first when we first worked with him. These things could be related to just having that um, your respiratory system so taxed, but there are also things we see very common with people who have had stroke that have been in bed for a prolonged amount of time. So it is difficult to um, tease out which was coming from, from having had a stroke and um, prolonged bed rest and, and what was from the COVID-19 diagnosis. And that's true. When, when you are, you know, on bed rest for a, a length of time, your muscles just kind of get lazy. So um, mm -hmm. what was the focus of Warren's recovery? Is it just getting uh, him up or someone like him getting them up, walking again, and just using some of those muscles sure. that may be a bit lazy? Yes. Yeah. So he, he was so motivated to do stuff. But um, at first, we had a long way to go as far as just getting him to be able to tolerate sitting up for a certain amount of time without, you know, feeling lightheaded. So you start where the person's at. Um, when somebody has a stroke, typically one side of the body is, is affected. And what happens is the brain is not sending messages from the brain to that part of the body through, through your nervous system. So we work a lot on just trying to get those connections back through incorporating, usually somebody has an effective side um, on left or right side. We work on incorporating that side as much as possible, making them aware in his case of his left side, we had to bring a lot of awareness to that side um, so that he could 
incorporate it so that we're not just retraining the brain to use one side of the body. Right. So starting slow and then um, and then picking up as we go. And he was very motivated. Um, and in some cases, you know, we'll we'll start we'll start in at the inpatient rehab clinic, practicing everything we can in the clinic, or like in Warren's case, we thought it was necessary um, to try some of those things like getting from, at the time, a wheelchair to the shower or to the toilet in his home. So we did take a session to go to his home to practice those well, things. Well, it looks like he's doing great, and I'm sure much of that is to the credit of you and the staff there. And we'd like to thank you, Danny Pavlovich, an occupational therapist with Cahuilla Delta. We appreciate your time. Nope. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. All right. Thank you.